Hi, my name is Andy Davis and I'd like to welcome you to this E3D tutorial on creating barbed wire in Blender. I'm going to show you how to model this barbed wire and then uh, array it and attach the array to a curve um, so you can basically make any shape that you want. Uh, if you want to learn more about Blender, uh, you can go to blender.org. Uh, Blender is free um, and you can download it for Windows 64, 32 bits. Linux uh, and Mac. So um, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is uh, add a circle and then change the verts to six and go into edit mode and uh, grab the circle, bring it up in the y direction by one unit, duplicate it and bring it down in the y direction by two units. Then we want to rename the item to high poly circle and then go into the object data panel and drag the high poly circle um, so we can rename the object data. We want to add a screw modifier and put it in the X axis and then change the screw amount to 32 and then the steps to 28 and the render steps to 28 just to be clean. And you can see here something's wrong so we need to uh, press A to select all the verts and then rotate it by 90 degrees. And then rotate it again by 90 degrees. As you can see here, it looks a bit weird, but this circle's correct now. You can change the smoothing error by clicking calc order. Need to apply that modifier. Then press Control N to um, Recalculate the normals, add an array, change it to minus one, the relative offset, which gives us our wire. Then we need to add uh, another circle. Uh, go into top view, bring it up in the y direction by two units, and duplicate it and bring it down in the y direction by four units. Then select both of them and then bring it in the X direction, uh, minus four units. Then add another screw modifier. Change the screw amounts to four. And it looks a bit weird, so we change it to the X direction. And then put the iterations to two. And that gives the start of our barbs. Then we need to apply the screw modifier and then uh, loop select the virtue you see here and then extrude out to start the barbs and then extrude again slightly and then rotate it downwards and then scale in Z Rotate it a little bit more just so we can get a point. And we need to extrude and then scale inwards. And then press F to fill. And we need to get the knife tool to cut some geometry in here by pressing K. and select these verts and then smooth the vertices okay, we need to press control plus uh, on the numpad um, and then select the loops so we can select that whole area and then extrude slightly we need to go to the modifier panel and add a subdivision surface and then bring it up to 3 should be fine If you press Ctrl plus, we can uh, increase the selection. If you duplicate it. Go to the mesh panel, go to mirror, and then mirror X global, and press enter. You can also use the hotkey Ctrl M. And then we need to grab and then snap to the verts on the opposite side. And we need to select this loop, 
press Control plus to increase the selection, duplicate it, and then go to uh, Mesh, Mirror, and Y Global. And then mirror it again in the uh, Z direction. I mean to snap it to the verts here. It's not working correctly, so we need to bring it down the Z and then snap. And then press double A and then remove doubles and press Control N to recalculate the normals. And select the wire, add a subdivision surface. Uh, turn up on display and subdivide UVs off and Increase the sort of divisions to two, two is fine. We need to apply the array modifier. And uh, rename it to high poly barbed wire. and do the same as we did before in the object data panel. Now if we turn double sided off, you can see there's a problem with the normals. So we have to select uh, one piece, another piece. I'm selecting all the linked vertices by, by pressing Control L, which um, will select all the vertices that are linked to a particular vertex. I think we're good. Now we want to snap the uh, 3D cursor to the center of the point. We want to add a curve by going into the uh, Taurus Knot Plus. As you can see it's pretty small here. Turn the bevel down to zero. And turn the resolution down. To down to 50. Then we need to scale. We need to scale the torus knot. Scale it by a good amount so it's big enough for the barbed wire to look good on. And we need to select the barbed wire and then add an array modifier. And we're clicking merge, uh, which merges the vertices where the array starts and ends. And then we need to change the fit type to fit curve and select the torus knot. Now what this does, this sets the amount of arrays to match the length of the curve. So you see it's pretty long here. And then we need to go to the modifier panel, add a curve modifier. And bring it uh, above the subsurf. And then we need to um, select the object and then select the torus knot, which will array the curve and have it match the, uh, the curve that you've set to. And you can change, I mean, there's a little gap here, but you can change the length of the uh, curve if you scale the curve, uh, go into edit mode, and then press S to scale. And then bring it out slightly. Um, you can fill any gaps that you need. As you can see, this is a pretty versatile technique. Um, it makes things like creating barbed wire really, really easy. Because um, you can imagine if you actually had to model this, it would be a, a really big pain. But uh, this makes it pretty simple and very fast. Do a quick OpenGL render the viewport. And I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. And thanks for watching. See you again soon.